this is Dave Kibo from Film School in a Box. Today I'm going to show you how to make dynamic looking titles using Motion 2. To give you an idea of the kind of titles I'm going to show you today, let's take a look at the trailer for my film The Confession. I got a fucking 9mm gun in my hand. It holds 15 bullets. There's five of you. That's three bullets apiece. Hopefully you'll all do such a good job, I'm only going to have to fucking shoot one of you. Alright, the first thing we want to do is to open a new project in Motion. Choose NTSC DV from the pull down menu. As you can see our workspace opens up. Choose the text tool on the top left which is signified by the letter T. Click in the canvas and begin typing. The text is way too big, so I'm going to move over to the inspector on the right side and make the font smaller. Here's where you can also change what font you use. I want something a little more powerful, so I'm going to go with Impact. You can also input text in the inspector at the bottom right, and it appears on the canvas. Well, it's off-center, so to move it, I'm going to choose the arrow tool at the top left, then click and drag the text to the center. Next I want to change the color, so let's return to the inspector and choose the style tab. Under face, click on the color box. This will bring up the color window and you can choose your color. Now let's add a drop shadow to make it stand out a bit. At the bottom of the inspector, click the box next to drop shadow. Click the color box and choose your color in the window. I want a Pulp Fiction type feel, so I'm going to choose red. Back in the inspector you can choose the properties to your liking. And then, when you're happy with the look, you can save your format for later. Just go back to the style tab above and choose the style preset pull down menu and choose save all. Name it what you want to name it. I didn't name this layer so let's do that now. Now I'm going to make another card so let's repeat the steps. Choose the text tool from the top left. Now click in the canvas and type your text. Go to the inspector on the right and choose the style tab. Because we saved our preset, we can now choose that from the style preset menu. And as you can see, it changes the font. Now let's choose format and go down to the bottom and enter some more text. I want to center it. So let's go to the layout tab and choose alignment center. Now click the arrow tool from the top left and let's reposition the text. So the next thing I'm going to do is add some animation. From the library, choose the library tab. Click on behaviors and let's choose text sequence. A new tab opens up and gives you a whole different list of options. I'm going to choose text glow. You can click on any of these and the box above will show you what they do. Let's choose simple fast glow. Now I want to click on the text I want to affect and hit apply. As you can see the animation appears in the browser. Now I'm going to copy and paste it onto my other text card. Just highlight the effect and hit apple C then highlight the second text card and hit Apple V. Now let's take a look. I want to stagger the second card so it happens after the first. Let's return to the timeline below. Click on the second card, in this case Rich Hall, and drag it forward. I'm going to give it about 40 frames. And there you go. Now I want to shorten this card from the default 300 frames to 100 frames, so I'll just pull everything back to 100 frames. I want to add a fade out, so select all and choose add behavior, basic motion, and then fade in, fade out. New window opens. I don't want to fade in, so let's drag that to zero. And I'll slide the end to 15 frames, and we're done. Let's watch it. So that's our tutorial for the day. On another note, Apple has invited me to premiere Film School in a Box at the Apple Store in Los Angeles on May 31st. So if you're in Los Angeles, come on down and meet me, see Film School in a Box in action, and maybe you'll even win something. More details can be seen at our website, www. 
www.filmschoolinabox.net. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.